Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you um, two classics of magic. So the first one is the um, ball and tube. So I have this ball that cannot quite fit down this tube. Okay, but if you just think hard enough, I'm pretty sure that the ball will actually sink down into the tube. Okay, let's see. Just a little more. And there. Okay, now just to get it to back up, you just have to uh, think again of the ball coming up. The ball should come up. Okay. So this is the first one. It, uh, it's a very simple trick. All you need, um, well actually, you might have to buy this at a magic store. Unless you're handy with uh, tools. So, first you just need a marble. And then you need uh, two tubes. One that's slightly thicker than this one so it can just slide over it. Now one thing about the tubes. The marble has to be just right, so it can't fit into this tube, but it will easily slip through this tube and come out the other side. Okay? So it's pretty self-explanatory from here on, but for some people that may have not caught on. What you need to do is put the tube, I mean, not the tube, put the ball on the tube, and then with your pinky, just let it go down. Now you can make it go up and down just like this. You can do it quick or you can do it slow for a bigger effect. Or you can just go down like that. But it's more obvious if you just go down because you can see your pinky move. And it kind of gets caught under your pinky finger. So that's not the best idea. Okay? But that's a classic of magic. Now for the uh, second one. I don't know how well this is one is going to go, but I'm just going to do it anyway. So I have this uh, blank rod here. Uh, you can buy it at just like a regular uh, Home Depot or Lowe's. And it's just a titanium rod that's painted black. Okay, so I'm just going to grab an arrow out of the air and push it right there. So now there's an arrow right there. Okay, now if I just give it a little bit of a shake, now there's one on the other side too. If you were to shake it, it'll pop back right there. But that leaves that one up there. If I give that one a shake, that makes it right there. But then that one's there, so then I need to do that to make it there. But then that one's up there, and if I just do this, then it's right there. That one's there. Do it safe like that. Now that one's there, the other one's right there. But if I give it one firm shake, now one's there, and one's there. Okay, so, so now we have both of them in the middle. Now, if I just loosen this one, not the other one, just this one, do it a mess shake, now there's two arrows because that arrow is separate but on the other side there's just one and then they can check this out it's a uh, one arrow on this side two on this side and the entire time this is how it looks you don't change it at all these arrows are impossible to get off unless you have paint to shade it okay but this is how it goes so if you hold it your finger over it like that you can't see it so that's how I do this part now that part is a different part and I'm going to teach you that right now so all you need to do is get good at doing this is flipping it like this so if you notice if you flip it like this and then flip it over you're just showing them the same side twice so if I flip it over quickly enough and with a lot of practice I can get it so it just looks like I'm just showing you the rod but I'm really just uh, showing you the same side twice. Okay? And then you can te technically do whatever you want. But I'm going to teach you the way that the book that 
I got with this setting. Okay? So, what you want to do is you want to say I have a blank drive, do uh, flip it and turn it. Okay? And now, what you're going to do is you're going to put your pinky on this arrow so that you can't see it. And then you're just going to say, I'm going to take an arrow, push it right there, like that. Okay? Now, if you just flip it, say move, you just twist it, but the this, but this hides it, like that. Okay, now you can take it. So if I do a shake, now that one's there. If I do a hard enough shake, now there's one on each side. Flip it, turn. Okay? Then you can say if I do that, now it's there. That one's still there. If I give that one a shake, now, <coughs> excuse me, it's there. And then this one's there. You can just keep doing this for a while until you get it so that it's like that. Then what you can do if I give it a hard enough shake, then you can just say that. And then you can flip it and turn it so they just see it like that on both sides. And then you say, I'm going to loosen this one, not this one, just this one. And then if I just give it a quick shake, now there's one on each side. So that makes it uh, one arrow on this side, one arrow on this side. And then without doing this, you just turn it over and say, I want it. And then you can let them see it. It doesn't change. They can't do anything to know exactly how to do it. And those are two uh, uh, magic flashlights. Uh, let me know what you thought of that. Uh, a lot of people haven't seen those. It's That one concept of the arrow one is used in a lot of tricks. So, 